So here we are in our D5 scene, and you can see we've got a lot of lights going on here. We've got quite a large number of them. So what we can do is try and figure out a way to help organize our lighting. And so the first thing you'll notice if we go to the bottom left here, where we've got really the object tab or scene tree, and you can see we've got all of the different stuff in our scene. Now, we can help minimize this a little by going to this button right here and clicking light. Now, once we do that, all we'll be able to see over here is all of the lights in your scene. Now, they'll all be named by type. And one thing you can do to help yourself with this is to select them all. Hold down shift, left click, and then shift again. And you can see I've selected all of the spotlights right here. We can right click and we can group them or control G. Once they're grouped, we can also right click and rename them. Once you do that, we can do spot wall down or something similar along those lines. And this means that anytime you need to find the lights to adjust them, you can actually just go to that. Now, the other really cool thing about this is if in this group, you have just the same type of light. So for example, I have all spotlights. I can actually adjust them over here. So I can change, for example, the color and I can adjust the intensity of all of them at the same time. We can also adjust things like the attenuation radius and the cone angle as well. So this gives us an enormous amount of control over our lights. The other thing to note is you can rename individual lights too. So I can click on this rectangular light in the ceiling and I can rename it and I can call it ceiling light one, something like that. Hit enter. And this means you can actually go in and do quite a lot of sort of adjusting your lights, naming them and organizing them. You can lock your groups and you can go ahead and just right click and ungroup them here as well. Okay, hopefully that will help you organize your lights just a little bit better. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.